Being the owner of a computer takes a lot more than simply buying it or building it and calling it good. A computer, like a car, must be properly maintained so that it'll be at peak performance for years after it's built. A good, clean computer starts at the desk it's sitting on. You should always make sure to clean the desk by first getting rid of everything sitting on the desk that doesn't necessarily need to be there. These things could be books, food, or movies that may have accumulated there and putting them in the places in which they belong. The next step is properly unhooking and unplugging all cords that your computer is connected to. First, unplug the power cord for the desktop itself, then unplugging each individual monitor from the wall outlet, however many you have. Then, unhook your monitors from your desktop. Your monitors are connected to your desktop using one of four different types of connections. HDMI, VGA, DVI, or DisplayPort. After you've unhooked your computer from the wall and your monitors from the desktop, it's always important to clean off your desk. There could be dirt, dust, food crumbs, or even liquid spills such as pop or juice that need to be cleaned off in order to have a neat, orderly work area. Cleaning wipes or a dishcloth and spray works just fine. After all of the work area cleaning is finished, hardware cleaning can finally begin. The first step of cleaning the computer is cleaning the monitor or monitors. Be sure to use screen cleaning spray or special screen cleaning cloth found at Walmart or computer store to clean them. Make sure to clean every corner and every crevice of the monitor. Any grime buildup is annoying and if too much buildup occurs, it could actually hinder the monitor's performance. After the monitors are clean, it's time to move on to the desktop itself. First off, make sure to clean the outside of your case. Although a dusty external case won't necessarily harm your computer, it doesn't hurt to make your computer look as clean as it is. External case cleaning can be done with spray and some cloth. There are several things you can do annually for internal hardware cleaning, but for monthly or bi-monthly maintenance, a simple dust removal should suffice. Dust remover is fairly cheap and can be purchased at a local Walmart or computer store. Everything should be sprayed off at least a little, but the most crucial parts that need to be sprayed off is the graphics card, the CPU fan, the hard drive, and any other moving part in the computer. If there's any dust buildup on fans especially, the dust could impede its motion, causing the fan to fail, which would eventually cause the part that the fan is cooling to overheat. Now that the hardware cleaning is finished, it's time to move on to software cleaning. Computer enthusiast Jacob Baer says that the most ideal time to clean software is normally when it needs to be updated or when the computer finds anything that it sees as a threat. I do it whenever they prompt me to, which could be anywhere from a week to a month. Uh, generally speaking, they try the own companies themselves try to keep it within a month time span unless something drastic happens, so around every month or so. The most important thing to do for software maintenance is to run a scan on your computer's operating system using your antivirus software. Most pre-built computers already have an antivirus software installed. If you built your own computer, right after installing your operating system, the next thing you should do is find and install any software that is capable of finding and quarantining any sort of malware that could potentially do harm to your computer's operating system. Another useful thing to do to boost your computer's performance is to run a disk cleanup to get rid of any unnecessary files that are just taking up space on your hard drive. With Windows, this can be done by simply typing in disk cleanup in the search bar. After this is done, do all of the necessary steps it takes to get rid of junk files such as log files, temporary internet files, and downloaded program files. These are all files that are not needed by the operating system and will not hurt the computer if they're deleted. The last thing software maintenance wise that can be done is to uninstall any programs that seem harmful or unnecessary. Be cautious when doing this however as there are some programs that are required in order for a computer to function such as graphics drivers and operating system drivers that need to be installed. To uninstall programs, simply type in Programs and Features into the Windows search bar and you'll see your list of programs currently running on your computer. Simply uninstall the ones you deem unnecessary by double-clicking them. Routine computer maintenance is crucial in order to having a fast, efficient working, or even gaming machine. The only thing that a computer needs from its owner is a little responsibility. It's up to you to provide that.